We're speaking with Rebecca Goche and talking about the Save the Dairy Barn project. Good to see you. Good to see you too. All right, Rebecca, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where do you go to school? I go to Pineville High School. Okay, and you're a senior, right? Yes, sir. So everybody uh, knows that seniors have to have projects, senior projects. Yes, sir. And you chose this to be your senior project. Why did you do that? Um, well, one night, Nathan Martin, my senior project mentor, came over and kind of asked me about what I wanted to do my senior project on. And mm -hmm. um, after he brought it up, brought this up, I told him I kind of wasn't sure. He said, well, the Save the Dairy Barn Committee is actually looking for someone to do their senior project on, okay. on the Save the Dairy Barn. So at first I kind of didn't remember what it was because it's kind of been quiet for a little while mm -hmm. but the more he talked about it and I kind of read some history on it the more excited I got okay so so give us a little history on the dairy barn because a lot of people may have seen this thing passing by mm -hmm. and they never really know what it is well it was built in 1923 by Joseph Carlin who is actually a former patient at Central State Hospital okay um, in 1994 there mm -hmm. was some significant structural work done on the barn okay. that by Tudor construction that really if that wasn't done it probably wouldn't be here today. Mm. In 1986 it was added to the National Historic Register of historical places in the area mm -hmm. um, and in 19, the 1950s mm -hmm. the actual the actual dairy production was okay. moved to Grant Parish because Beulah Lake was built and the cows could no longer go and pasture where Lake Beulah is now. I see. There actually used to be about a four foot tunnel that went under the highway over to the pasture wow. where Lake Beulah is now. A lot of people said they heard that as a rumor, didn't really know if it, it was true, but it is. Okay. There, after, now it still doesn't exist because when they were doing the construction on the highway, they had to blow up whatever was left. Gotcha. Okay, now the building itself, uh, it could use some work, but if, if it's fixed, it could be used for several different things, right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, right now it's going to take, my goal is $70,000, and that number comes from a, a historical report that was done by someone for us. Okay. That north-facing wall that actually faces Lake Bulow is the one that is in the most need of it, okay. and set that $70,000 is to fix just that one wall. Okay. To do the entire exterior of the building, it's actually going to take $250,000. Wow, okay. But so far, you've gotten a lot of good feedback. How much money have yes, you raised? Yes, I've gotten about $11,000. That is fantastic. Now, what kind of things have people told you when they found out that you're doing this senior project? Oh, I've gotten good and bad, but a lot of people just are really shocked that I'm so young and I have such high goals mm -hmm. and um, I've had several people, like I'll go to Walmart and I'll sell the bumper stickers yeah. um, and they'll drop in five dollars or tell me how awesome they think it is or they'll come buy a bumper sticker and things like that. Yeah, so these bumper stickers, tell us about that. Yes, these bumper stickers, they say, I love the Dairy Barn. Mm -hmm. They're twenty dollars each, although they are twenty dollars this is a donation okay and we're honoring your donation with a bumper sticker okay great so. And so that'll that'll definitely help with all the repairs absolutely well eleven out of seventy looks like you're well in, within your way of getting this project yes, done. Sir. that's great well congratulations on everything and uh... good luck to you thank you all right go and check this out and if you want to support the save the dairy barn project it's right there on your screen the website save the dairy and i think you'll get an a on this project what do you thank think? you